Named him Luke because he sounds like a Luke and he does what needs to be done. Hey loves, it's A back on your screen with another one. Hope you're all well. I wanted to make this video quickly for you and maybe a three-parter or maybe I'll make it a compilation and put three in one of how I make my iPhone work for me as a legally blind person. So as my vision gets worse, I rely on tech more. And last night I was fiddling around with it and I discovered something that for once I can say actually works for me. This one is A1. So you're gonna go to your settings. Let me do screen recording so you guys can follow along. Dum, da, dum, 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 there we go. Accessibility as per usual. where is it? Bing! Now, my problem used to be whenever I did voiceover, this rotted device read out everything to me. And I just, no, just no. I don't need you to tell me where the top of the phone is and the bottom is because I'm blind but not that blind. So what I like more is this new setting that I'm sure is not that new but is new to me. And it's called spoken content. So I click that and there's all these options and I'm like, wait, hola, 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 hola. The first one I clicked is I switched the speak selection and then I switched to speak screen and then it allowed this little weird pop-up thing here, you guys can see. And that allows me to actually select what I wanna read. Cause like I said, my biggest problem with any of these dictation or text to word or spoken blah, 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 it's just doing the most and it's frustrating. And I've tried it with Samsung and yo, know, I love me a Samsung, but they really need to work on their accessibility. There's a couple other settings that I changed on here too. So if you want yours to be the same as mine, what I ended up doing was I turned the highlight con, con English is my only language. I can barely speak French and why am I fumbling on my words today? I clicked highlight content and then here I picked words and sentences and then I scroll down a bit because you have an option to underline or do color so because I want to know if it's reading out a large piece of text where I'm at in case I want to zoom in and do what it do on my own I picked to highlight background color and then there's another option when you go down for word color I changed it so word color is default, but sentences are purple since that's my favorite color. So that way, even though I can't read the words, I can still follow along with what's going on. So if I'm like, hold on, run that statistic back, then I can see what I was supposedly reading with this thing. I also did the most because I, the reason why I haven't gone into Audible or anything like that, but hey Audible, if you're watching this, holler at your girl. Perfect person to sponsor since I'm visually impaired. The reason why I've never really got into audiobooks is because I can't with the voices. Especially when you click dictation on like Internet Explorer, Safari, Google Chrome, it sounds too robotic. So I love that they give you an option to go to voice and you can choose your voice. And if you guys wanna know which one I chose, I went to English because originally I went to Dutch and I'm like, I don't even speak, don't ask. And I chose the Siri voice one. They had all these options and I was just like, just let's just stick to the rivers and lakes we're used to. And this one, I liked it. I named him Luke because he sounds like a Luke and he does what needs to be done. And it sounds pretty good. Like the AI is a one. We're gonna go into the Google Books app and we're gonna test this out. So I'm a reading reading a bunch of books. I have this horrible habit, let me know if you're the same. I'll get excited, download a book, and then be like, mm, I don't know. I can't tell you the last time I finished a book. I'm currently reading 10 books. So, first of all, I usually have my font at 400% when I'm reading, so it looks like this. But in order to maximize how spoken word works, I actually go down to... I think 20% was that what I, that's what I was on last night I guess so and then now you're gonna pick that 25% transparent little logo over there and you can make it more dark or less dark if you want there's a setting for that too and I'm just gonna hold you have two options if you want it to read the whole page just press play if you want it to read a selected area there's a little hand emoji here 
and you're just going to tap on a passage. Women advantages over medium and dark skinned women who seek to marry black men. Those advantages extend to the quality. This volume probes black women's collective trajectory of love and lovelessness within the US context. It explores as well the contrived circumstances under which millions of black men have disappeared from the pool of available partners for black women. The forces behind their steps away from the homes they were expected to forge with black women have etched into African American history triumphs. Girl reads, girl reads some heavy books. I also wanted to test to see if it works for Instagram. It does. It won't read the text here, which sucks, because that's usually the thing I fumble and fail at. Like if someone's posting an Instagram story and there's writing, by the time I try to zoom in, it usually taps to the next thing. They haven't figured that out yet. Maybe one day they will. But what you can do, a lot of people are do the microblogging thing. I'm not reading all of this. So instead, I'm going to... The Velody TV, it looks like Akbar done made soldier boy mad after claiming he's not from Atlanta. I see Omareta is inspiring a lot of people, 100 point symbol. Face with tears of joy. What are your thoughts about this? Soldier boy, Akbar Flavelladin. <laughs> Lovely tea keeps me up to date. Nowadays, I feel like a whole new woman with a whole new device because a lot of times I'm scrolling through Instagram and I feel like the kid that's left out. But now I can actually read some of the captions without zooming in and wasting what's left of my vision. Sometimes I just tap out because I'm like, oh, I don't need to read this anyway. So I thought that was pretty cool. That's the first thing I wanted to show you. Like I said, this is gonna be a compilation. So either this will be just one video of a series called Alicia's Accessibility Advice, or maybe I'll make it a compilation and make it one big video. We'll see.